What's the crack lads welcome back to the channel and let's get straight into it because we have got big time epic Cloud Makalele We've also got Didier Drogba who let the dogs out and check. I would love to get Drogba man He looks absolutely insane. I love his stats even though his balance is an absolute nightmare uh, I definitely would like to get him. I think I'd prefer playing with him Obviously, he's got standard form, but I think I would prefer playing with him than the likes of Collar, uh, because he's got that height. He's not obviously as monstrous as Collar in the air, but he definitely is a player that I think that I could play well with because he's he, he's just very physical. You know, he's very physical. His shooting stats are really good. He's got 29 levels to go. He looks like an absolute machine. And yeah, I like when they add, you know, players like this, especially as a goal poacher. Drogba's going to have some really nice movement, you would imagine, with that offensive awareness. Now, there's a couple of issues with this card. The first one being his standard form, but because he has got that B rating, I wouldn't worry about that too much. Slight concern. Um, it is kind of a slight concern, but it's not a huge one. Um, but yeah, the rest of his player skills, I think apart from having long range curler, he obviously doesn't have that. But I mean, you're just going to be turning and shooting with Drogba and any of the strikers that you play centrally, that's all you're going to be doing really anyway. So he kind of falls in line with the likes of Lewandowski, the likes of Cristiano, the likes of Haaland. Obviously, there's different types of players, um, but that's the kind of role that you're going to be playing with him, like an all rounder that can get in uh, the box and just score goals when he gets a chance. You know, I like playing with these players every now and again. The game just doesn't really re reward playing with these players ahead of the likes of Romario, Rumenegi um them types of players Mbappe so yeah I do like Drogba I think he's probably the the one of the picks of it obviously there's only three but I think this Chelsea pack is a very strong pack we'll get to in a second now I want to go over to eFootball DB and show you how I max this guy out okay so this is how I trained up Drogba lads right there are different versions of him that you can do and as I said in the last video there is a big huge update coming to eFootball DB across uh the web and what you're seeing here and the app so keep the feedback coming in and the suggestions coming in but yeah this is kind of how i train drogba up um there is a couple of different things you can do with him to 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 kind of alter him uh to your play style and how you play him i mean obviously his biggest concern is going to be his dexterity which affects his offensive awareness which affects his balance and it affects his acceleration so i think in order to even make Drogba a viable threat up front you need to have that as high as you possibly can go now that's where you kind of separate out then from you know where you want the player to kind of uh, play so if you want the player to play like through the middle and you're going to be using him as your kind of battering ram that's just going to be your main striker or maybe you've got a player off him uh, I think he would excel in a kind of a meta 4-3-3 formation where you've got maybe two SS's very narrow um, I will be doing a video on that today as well um, but yeah, I think the main goal here with Drogba is getting his offensive awareness as high as possible, getting his acceleration as high as possible, and his balance as high as possible. You're still going to be really bad with balance, but I think if you get it up to that 69 rating, um, especially because of the offensive awareness and because of his phys physical contact, I think you will kind of like uh, overcompensate for that. But it's a, it's it's not the best card, man. I mean, I think they really need to look at the balance because even the animation system and the collision system, it's kind of broken at the moment in a way that Drogba's not going to play that he's got 69 balance. It's kind of like his speed of 75. Like, it, there's, there's very, very little difference between a player that has speed 75 and that has speed, like, 83. Like, it's very, very different. So, like, obviously, it looks visually better if Drogba had 83 speed or he had 83 acceleration. But I think he'll still be able to do everything. The big key for him here um, that should tell you how to play this card is 97 offensive awareness for really good runs when you don't control him or you're making runs with your attacking midfielder cutting in and that finishing. When you get the ball with Drogba's, at Drogba's feet, just shoot, man. You know, sh just shoot. Power-driven shots, uh, tap-ins, whatever you want. And then obviously we have his aerial strength done up as well. Now, moving on, right, we have a Cloud Makaleli that we're going to focus on. I all I have Makalele. I have his original version. I mean, this guy, apart from not having blocker here in his player skills, he has everything. Fighting spirit, interception, man marking. He's also got really good passing skills. First time shot as well, which is a unique skill for him. One touch pass, true pass, and low lofted pass. You don't really need to worry too much about his passing when you are training him up because of those player skills. Unwavering form. Look at his base stats. Like 84 low pass already, 84 stamina, 80 aggression, 83 tackling. Absolutely unbelievable card, lads. An epic beast of a card. Now, when we train him up, this is how I've gone with it, right? So you can make a couple of choices. 
I think personally you have enough in the 84 low pass without really touching it, like without actually, um, you know, using it or going up a, a level with it, right? So if it was me, I would probably just max out his defensive capabilities and have him in that pocket and have him in that role that you can literally just break up the play, break up lad's legs and just stop the, you know, the counter. That's the main thing. If you can stop the counter, and that's what I'm going to be doing a video on defending quite soon of tips I've learned um along the way on my road to division one like if you can stop the counter you're going 90 percent of the way and stopping people from scoring you're always going to concede stupid goals but if you've got makalele sitting in a hole in the middle of the pitch he's going to just mop up a lot of ball like a lot of ball like there's been times where makalele has, has pretty much saved me a goal by stopping the ball right where he needs to be you know just sitting in that pocket i usually play him with anchorman as well um if you are playing that or not anchorman but defensive or else man marking the amf or the cf if i'm you know looking to keep a lead and it's his ai is always going to naturally drift towards that dmf position anyway unless you anchor him in um but yeah he is an absolute beast of a card lads obviously there was different versions of him i had the legend version of him and i think it's slightly better um just slightly but I think that this card is definitely is definitely well worth it if you are looking for one of the best DMFs in the game and you don't have one that's there. And then last but not least, we have Petr Cech, right? So Cech to me is, yeah, I mean, he is, a, he is a really good goalie. I just think it depends on how you train him up. Obviously, he's got unwavering form. All these players are going to have um, the 90 team play style proficiency, which is huge because you don't need to train it up. Um, he has low punt and long throw which are two of the most important skills um you know a lot of people that play at a high level like division one two and three they don't actually like kick the ball at all it's all long throws because it's more control over it you can start counter attacks and the long throw can literally go so far you know what i mean it can like go up to your wingers if you uh if you have a, go a goalie with this player skill now for check i think the main thing that you need to kind of like work on when you're training him up is you need to look at his height which is huge you know he's 196 he obviously brings him in line with the likes of donna who is my goat in e football 2023 i think donna is the best keeper but obviously when you're comparing him against these epics and these uh legend keepers it is going to be difficult to you know to outperform him the likes of can the likes of cassius the likes of dita and now check this check, there has been different versions of him, obviously, but this check, I think, is a very nice goalkeeper um, that's released this week. You can train up his awareness to 92. Like, there's multiple ways you can do it, right? I think a 91 awareness is probably enough, um, and reflexes of 93 or 94 is enough. That's how I would train him. 92 awareness, uh, 85 catch, catching, 80 clearing, 93 reflexes, and 88 reach. Now, the clearing is a little bit of a concern that it's only 80, and the catching is only 85, and it's kind of difficult to train that up any further because obviously it's in the same uh, stat as the reflexes. So it just depends on how you want to do it. Like it depends on how you want to train him up. We can also put two further into jump if we wanted to there as well to bring him a little bit more uh, up in line with the 76 jump. But for me, I do think that he is, you know, a really, really good player um we're gonna go back out we have got one spin let me know if you guys would like me to spin this week we're gonna get drogba straight off the rip watch this watch this drogba's coming home no he's not he's staying home Woof. there's no dogs being let out today lads oh who we get three star oh just what i wanted yes yes who is it just what i wanted three star yes oh brilliant and james oh he's going straight in all right lads so that is uh that is going to be a pack opening if you guys want to see me do a pack opening and on drogba and check or whatever let me know what the crack is and uh we will see you guys later hope you enjoyed this review yeah i definitely recommend if you are looking there is some gp alternatives i will do a video on that as well and a comparison but until next time don't forget to subscribe big giveaway coming at twenty-five thousand subs huge giveaway actually um and i'll touch in a bit peace